Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there? And welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Let's explore the world, you and I, together. Now, as I start every episode, gonna be starting this episode by trying to take a guess as to where we are based on what we can see. And based on what we can see, we can assume we are in Russia. And um, based on the position of the sun, we can't tell a single thing. The sun will really only tell, give you an indication of where you are in the world if you are at sunrise or, or sunset. And you know which one of those it is. And time of year also, you would need to know that. And I, I can never make that calculation either way. If the sun was right here and it was setting and I could tell like, oh, right there, that's uh, pretty much like, uh, that's pretty much like south east. Well, that wouldn't really help me at all. But uh, some people smarter than I can figure out uh, in terms of latitude and maybe longitude, if you know what time of year it is, where that is. But I have no idea. So Russia, I mean, it's always a good idea to guess um, in, in this sort of area, or at least that's where I do. So why don't we go? Um, why don't we go with uh, Toyoliti, which sounds like a fun thing to do. And, and in fact, we were well, actually, we were in Ukraine, which. Were we stuck in a picture? We might have been stuck in a picture and I didn't realize, which is my fault if we were. But anyways, that was 906 kilometers away. But that's not what the point of this is. The point of this actually is to do one of these time challenges. Now, thank you very much for your feedback. In the last five episodes, you guys have told me that um, doing three or two uh, viewer challenges in a recording session of five is a good idea. And I've got some. Also, if you guys do have challenges you want to send me using, you know, that you've made through GeoSetter, um, feel free to send them over. I would great, I greatly, I like them a whole lot. I'm going to be doing essentially one every other episode. So it's going to be a normal episode or uh, maybe if I think of something else special to do, uh, an episode like that, and then the viewer challenge. So um, in uh, it's going to alternate between two and three every recording session. So today, just a normal episode. We're going to have uh, the URL is down in the description below if you guys want to do it. URL.geoguessr.com slash 6VRF. 6VRF. Three minutes on the docket. You guys can do that. And uh, hopefully I'm going to remember to uh, raise this old thing up there and uh, we can start doing that. So great. Let's let's do that. So a viewer told me I should be doing that because it's, it's easier. You get more more, you get more screen real estate. And again, we're still not ready to use uh, Geo uh, Guesser Beta just because that it doesn't. It's not very good so far. It, it doesn't really help. Okay, so what do we have here that's um, interesting? Uh, de de Ponceillon Inlet. Oh, lighthouse de Ponceillon. And um, I, I forget what exactly. Uh, that is, but we are in a lighthouse, and in fact, chances are we are in, oh, no, we're not in Australia, look at the stop sign over here on the right-hand side, that, uh, oh, but this bus stop's on the left-hand side facing over here, who knows, I guess we need to go down the road a little bit and see if we can see Daytona Beach, well, are we actually in the real Daytona Beach, which would be pretty interesting, Daytona Beach, that would be Miami, Florida, or, or near it, um, that'd be, oh god, north of Miami, Florida, it's looking like that's a possibility, although, okay, let, let's do it this way, look, see, if we look at these road signs right here, well, the, first of all, these are North American road signs, these are North American, um, things, speed limit 10, that'd be in miles an hour, if 10 kilometers an hour was the speed limit, you'd be absolutely crazy, the signs are on the right side, people are driving on the right, this is Miami, Florida, or very darn close to it, Critter Fleet Deep Sea Resort and Fishing, and we are on, uh, we get some nice marlins there. So why don't we, why don't we, why don't we try and figure out where that is? We got Fort Lauderdale, and um, Daytona Beach, it, wow, it's pretty far from Miami, but I knew it was up here somewhere. Okay, so we got Daytona Beach, and then we've got um, this stuff over here. We, we, what, what did we really see? It's probably somewhere, uh, de, de, de Ponceillon Inlet. It would be somewhere around here, wouldn't it? De Ponceillon, um, yeah, Lighthouse and Museum is right there. And this is the road that we would be on. So let's click the return to start location. And what we can see is we can see De Ponceillon um, Lighthouse and Museum. We can see that there's like a, the, the, this bend over, this bend is, is right there, I'm guessing. Uh, that this bend that we're seeing right here, 
is this one so that this would be the jet ski rentals so we would be like right here and in fact to confirm that I think it would be maybe a wise idea to go over there and then this road would be uh, Sailfish Drive is this indeed Sailfish Drive I can't really tell but honestly that sounds about right so we're gonna make the guess here it's gonna give us a really really good score 0 0.034 kilometers away and let's see yes we were indeed on the right part of the road I guess I could have guessed a little bit more south but ain't, ain't that ain't gonna matter it's we're three points off the maximum total six four seven nine is the max we are pretty darn close to that so okay that was a pretty easy one though if you guys were doing that at home I'm fairly certain you guys could have done uh, very good welcome to Riley we're in a place called Riley gotta remember that North America is where we are and we have like the, the Legion a sign for the Legion um, citizens on patrol I don't know if that's actually the Legion or, or, or what it is right Legion that's like uh, uh, I, I don't really know to be honest how how to describe that really well so I'm just gonna stay off it in case I you know say something silly now one of the things um, okay Grand Central pub now Grand Central could mean one of any or many things it can mean nothing and in fact it probably does we've got a flag over here I don't know if that's an American flag I'm guessing we are in America uh, by the blurriness of the picture once we went to the right I, I, that's in a very American thing to happen which is why I return oh we're not in America, actually. You know, we're in Canada. A maximum 100. That's very interesting. Maximum 100. I guess the Legion, maybe that's a Canadian thing? Who knows? Let's go see if we know some cities. Uh, hopefully we do. All right, we've got... Oh, Edmonton. 70, we're 78 kilometers away from Edmonton. Well, that is a fantastic. We're 78 kilometers away from Edmonton. And uh, so we're, this, is, we're, we're, this is traveling in the direction of Edmonton. So Edmonton is perhaps to the, um, I don't really know which way this, this road's going, but okay, let's go see which, let's go see what's in the opposite direction from us. If Edmonton is that, I mean, I was guessing we were going to be in Alberta anyways, but if Edmonton is over there, oh yeah, Riley, that's right, Riley, that's what we're looking for. So we're looking for uh, Edmonton, which is in obviously over here. Uh, we w we're looking for a place called Riley, which shouldn't be too far. We've got Leduc, um, Vagersville, maybe we should, maybe I should go check out that sign or else I might miss out on a golden opportunity to get a ton of points here because seriously, I mean, like, we're, we're really close to, to getting a, a lot of points and I would be remiss if I would miss out on that. We're on Alberta Road 14 straight ahead. We're on the 14 going into Edmonton, maybe. Um, that's the 16. That's not what we want. Okay, here's the 14 and we are looking for, we've got, we've got Toll Field, which is, oh, come on now, Toll Field is uh, like 18 kilometers away, so we're just down here, and here's Riley, right over here, um, which is absolutely fantastic. Let's return to the start location, and we can see here's that road that's crossing the train tracks over here. I'm guessing that that is this one right over here, this road right there. We got, oh yeah, 49th Avenue, great. So we are literally right here. Let's make that guess. Absolutely. And we were 007 points away. Got the maximum on that one. 6479. Riley, Alberta. Very nice. Okay. Sistema um, Mass Construcción. Okay. So we're in uh, Brazil uh, is, is what I'm... What were we? Wow. Very nice. Very nice. Wherever... Whoa. Okay. Something happened with a picture over here. Um, there's a glitch in the system, guys. Uh, this is like the, the Matrix. Uh, but I do believe that this is uh, Brazil. Although, I could be wrong. It could be something else, right? My, um, I mean, I, I am notoriously um, terrible at remembering. Now, now, see, right here, Gulligan, these could be, these could be places, right? I, I don't know. These could be cities. I don't really know. The, the, the eight-digit phone numbers really do make me think that we are in uh, Brazil somewhere. Although, I, I honestly, I don't really, really know where. And, oh my god, the, the, the pictures are starting to gel, to get gel, to get really bad. You can win an iPad. Um, Caso do Oriente. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Um, Venda, Troca. Okay, I'm sure that's like uh, like exchange. That, that would be like... Um, uh, if this means what I what I think it is, it's like a, like a sort of a, a pawn shop type thing of cell phones. 
not really um posto tennis oh my goodness i really don't want to make them a mistake here but i really do think we are in brazil I, we're not we're not in the eu which rules out a lot of possible things um and I, i'm just i'm just not really sure if we would be anywhere else hmm uh we have do we have anything no, not that I can see. Not that I. Not that I could see anywhere. Right. Mm -hmm. oh, we got like a military truck over here. Maybe that could tell us what what this place is. No, it doesn't really appear so. Hmm. I, I'm not convinced. I really know where we are for sure. We've got uh, just something seems strange about this, and I'm not really sure what it is. I I feel like we aren't where I think we are. Skull. Okay, Pare. Yeah, we're in Brazil. Alright, we're in Brazil. I don't know if I'm really gonna figure it out. Why don't we say... I mean, I, I, don't, I, always, I always think a lot of stuff is down over here. I'm not really gonna go much higher. I think maybe just going over here is a safe bet. We're gonna make the guess and hope we're not too far. Yeah, we were a lot further down, but honestly, uh, the, the city of Baje, or however you pronounce that, is not something I would have gotten. 2,157 points. You know what? That's not bad. Australia is the first thing that comes to mind. Uh, Western territories or Western... Yeah, West, Western Australia. Western Australia is what comes to mind. Uh, mostly because that seems to be where the Red Earth uh, belongs. And we got the Red Earth right over here. And I believe we got a little sticky friend over here. Oh, here you go. We got a, we got a little stick friend right there. You see someone, um, you know, a little stick also driving on the left-hand side of the road. You see the signs are on the left-hand side of the road. And a car behind us was obviously also driving on that side of the road. So nothing more. Uh, Western Australia, usually somewhere around um, around this area, the junction of the roads, maybe, maybe over here, maybe right through the middle, uh, like this section, maybe through over here. I'm not really sure which one. And, and honestly, it's going to be pretty much impossible for me to tell which one of those this place is going to be. So, yeah, there you go. This is going to be pretty darn hard to tell. So why don't we just keep on moving and try to see where we are. You know what? I, I really doubt we're ever going to get where we are. If we haven't spotted something real good, I, the odds that we do are very, very slim. There, there just aren't really signs here to, to really tell us where we are. The Red Earth has convinced me we are in Australia. Should we guess? You know what? I'm going to guess right over here, and we're going to make that guess. As it turned out, we were at this part over here. It was between one of these. It was between here and over there. In fact, it was over there. It would have gotten a lot better if I had I guessed over there. Uh, but um, there you go. Those are the two places that, I, in my mind, it could be. And uh, there you go. Uh, but maybe this maybe this place was a little bit wrong. You can see there's sort of a river delta, as it looks like. So I don't know if this area is a lot more green and wild and lush than perhaps up here, where it doesn't look like there's as much river delta. So anyways, um, 752 kilometers away, 2,281 points. It's pretty grand. And our last and final location, uh, where maybe this is going to be... Uh, I think we have beaten 20k on an episode before. Although I'm not sure if that was one of the weird uh, viewer challenge episodes, so that would be really nice if it um, if it happened to this one. But honestly, getting 2,800 points is pretty damn unlikely if I don't figure out where we are. And by the looks of it, just guessing Brazil in general, we're not going to be getting too close to um, to that to that goalpost. Now I thought I saw a sign, and in fact I was really really hoping that we that we had seen one. Nothing is really telling me very much. I mean, maybe we're in Mexico. If we are in Mexico, though, we are in, oh god, we are in very, very uh, southern Mexico. I I'm not really sure. There are some sort of picket things over here. There is some red earth, but I really highly doubt this is Australia. In fact, if I, now remember the car we're driving on the right side of the road, which, again, that could be something like Brazil, or that could be something like Mexico, and I'm not sure which one of those two we are. If I had to guess, we'd be Brazil, but uh, Lea a Biblia. Well, that is not English, so that rules out Australia and South Africa, although I didn't really think that we were in either of those two places. I, I thought we were in Brazil. And in fact, um, I think that this is going to be uh, that as a guess. Oh, come on now. Let's go see. Where, 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 where is this truck going? Maybe this truck can give us a little bit of clues. I'd like to catch back up to it. Here it is, driving right in the middle of the road. Maybe that's uh, Maybe that's a good idea. 
Is it, where, where, did it just disappear? Maybe it, it just disappeared? No, back, I'd like to go back. Oh, it, it's leaving me, come on. Okay, I, I don't even know where it is anymore. Okay, this truck is, is too damn elusive for me. I'm gonna be guessing, I'm gonna be guessing Brazil, unless I see, I mean, I don't know. This seems like something you could get, this seems like, wow, look at, the, look at, you could get a nice view of the Google Street View car and how it looks. This is something that seems like we could find in, this seems like something we could find in Mexico, honestly, a pickup truck like that, right? Maybe this is Mexico. Should I go wild? Should I should I spoil my last guess and say we're in Mexico and try and get a lot of points? I mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't uh, The thing about it is I'm so bad, like, like I said earlier in this episode, so bad at remembering the difference between uh, Spanish and Portuguese that I, I just can't do it myself, and it seems like... I, I just I just can't remember for the life of me how to tell the two languages apart and, and that is oh no you know what we're gonna go we're gonna go with Brazil that's an eight digit that's uh, an eight digit phone number Brazil known for those we're gonna say we're up here and honestly we're gonna go uh, right near the uh, Amazon River Delta we were actually a little bit lower than that so we didn't you know what that's still 700 kilometers away it's a huge dis you know when you're at the equator the distances. Uh, even though, like, see, like right here, like that's pretty darn close. But at the equator, that's a huge distance because the way the Earth is shaped is it, if it was a difference between uh, here and here, it wouldn't be that much. But but here and here, it's it's much much bigger than that. So 770 kilometers, 2,200 points, just shy of the mythical mythical 20,000. 19, 662. Sorry if you've heard my phone vibrating throughout the episode. I'm very sorry. I forgot to turn it off. But next episode, it will be. Eh, maybe not. Anyways, tomorrow tune in for another viewer challenge. Remember to keep those sent in. And remember to write down in the comments if you guys did a better score or a worse score. I mean, honestly, I got pretty damn lucky with these two. Although, I do think you guys could have gotten um, both of those. Or at least this one right here. Uh, if you're not familiar with Canadian cities, maybe the Edmonton one was harder to get. But a lot of you that watch these seem to be... Very, very smart and much smarter than me when it comes to knowing things about geography that I just don't. But, I mean, there you go. So, post down if you guys did some good scores. Post down if you didn't. Uh, hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. And, as always, I will see you guys next time. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody. Get on your feet. Stand up. Look at the screen and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh yeah. Have a good one.